Hello everybody. Today I will be showing you how to download the X737 aircraft for X-Plane. This is a very detailed aircraft, one of the most professional free aircraft that you can get and I really like it. It's a little bit hard to find if you're new to either X-Plane or downloading aircraft or anything and if you see I have tutorials for all of that so okay to start off go into your favorite internet browser I'm on a Mac so I'm gonna use Safari so we'll open this up now the the website for the X737 is kind of hard to find so instead of trying to memorize the link or anything which will be in the description I'm just going to uh, type in X737 and that's all you should have to type in click search okay this is it I'm not exactly sure how to say this name but this is what you want to look for. This is the X737 website. So you click on that. Okay, now it'll bring you to this page. So they do update the X737 somewhat frequently. So you'll want to check back here for the version of it and update it. And I will also show how to update an aircraft without deleting the previous one and installing an entire new one so to start off it's a little bit hard to find if you've never done it before so you're gonna wanna go into aircraft click on that and it looks like it should just be right here like down here download or something but it's not so you'll just wanna keep following these links so x737 for x-plane 9 and 10 this is the link you wanna follow click on that okay now this brings you to the page the download page so you can read about it everything and then down at the bottom here you'll see the X737 for X-Plane 9 now this works from 9.7 up so 9.7 or if you're flying in X-Plane 10 you want to use this one for X plane 10.2 and up which includes both the 32 and the 64 bit so you'll click oops you'll click download because I'm flying in X plane 10 and it'll start your download so if you go in here you can see now this is a fairly large file so I will resume the video when it's fully downloaded alrighty so as we can see my download right here is now complete so what we want to do we want to open up finder okay now I have mountain lion so it might look a little bit weird to you but basically you'll just go to your x-plane folder so mine is right there so I'll double click that go into aircraft this is just like you would install any other plane now I want to put mine in heavy metal so I'm just gonna take mine take the whole folder and drag it right in to oops that didn't go in right into heavy metal okay and then you can put that wherever you want if you just want to leave it out here so you can see it that's fine if you want to put it in whatever folder or make a new folder that's fine too so we go in here we see that it is right down here now you can rename this if you would like so you know Boeing X737 or whatever you want it to be open it up it'll be in here you got all your manuals and everything if you want to read about it okay here's your aircraft file .acf. now I'm gonna show you 
how to put liveries in the X737. I have individual tutorials on each one of these things, but this is pretty much the same, but a little bit different for the X737. So do the same thing. You'll want to go to X737. Go back to their website. Click on aircraft. Aircraft again, and you'll want to go to liveries this time. Okay, so you can read about how how to um, put these so they'll work, and they have over 200 different liveries. So you can go to all of them or by the country. So I pretty much I live in America, and I pretty much just fly within America. So I'm gonna go to American liveries. So here you have a list of all these different ones. And they're updated pretty frequently with new ones. So if a new paint job is put on an aircraft, then it's usually in here within a couple weeks at least. So you can download any of these. So like, let's say I want to download American Airlines. So I'll just go over here, click download. and it should download pretty fast if you know how to create your own liveries you can go to the paint kit and get that which will allow you to make your own and put them on the X737 website and fly them on your own plane so that's pretty cool you can download as many different liveries as you want for free they're all free so I'll just scroll down all of these all alphabetical over 200 so go back that's almost done so we'll X out of this I'll show you go back in aircraft heavy metal there's this Look in here again, one more time. Okay, now there's already a folder in here that says liveries. If there's not, just make a new folder and call it liveries, just like that, and the computer will know what to do with it. So you'll take this, American Airlines, and again, you can rename this anything, as long as you don't change the files inside. You'll just want to drop it right in there. And there we go. <clears throat> American Airlines is in there. If you check it, and actually you'll want to use this file. So I was mistaken. So let's bring this out. Let's open this up. Sorry about that. And you'll want to make sure it's the file right before you see these. So click in here. And we'll just drag this right into here. Sorry about that. So now that should work. And some of them have that and some of them won't. But you'll always want to check. Otherwise, it'll just stay as the default paint, which is Air Berlin. So connect that out. Get rid of this because it's pretty much empty. And that's it. You'll want to open X-Plane and have fun flying. Please comment with any questions at all or ideas for future videos and please subscribe. Thank you.